What's going on everyone? Introducing the new project we're going to be working on. Um, not water cooling this one, just going to, going to customize it, add LEDs and stuff. So it already has kind of a mix of the R2-D2 shell and the ghost case shell. So it's clear on this side. Clear bezel, disk drive bezel door came off but I gotta put the uh, I'll probably put the clear one on here and put the blue one on my clear faceplate um, now it already has the blue LED fan and it does still have even though this is not an R2D2 motherboard it's a standard motherboard it just has this shell on it it does still have the blue ring of lights here so I'm trying to come up with different ideas um, I like the C3PO controller that has kind of the exposed wiring. I mean, it's just a decal, but on the front. And I like the idea of that, like, just kind of putting exposed wiring, like, inside here. And then on the back side, just running along different areas. Just looks like the inner parts of a robot. Um, first thing I want to do is paint this metal shield, so i got to take this completely apart. Um, I want to try this gold paint. So, as you know, you know, these came with the C-3PO controller, so that's just kind of my theme for this build, R2-D2, C-3PO. So we're going to do gold, and I want to try that first before I do anything else to see how that comes out. So i got to take this apart, and we'll get to painting. Alright, got it all painted. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the masking tape because obviously we don't want to get paint on the inside as some of this stuff has a grounding shroud like all of the plugins on the back so we want to make sure that's still bare metal a little light up front but doesn't matter just wanted to get this surface painted Go ahead and take this off. We're going to throw the whole thing back together, just see what it looks like, and then figure out our next step. Alright, as we can see, we got the whole thing put back together so we can see what it looks like with the gold metal plate on there. So, next up is to take this apart one more time. We're going to install this piece here. We're going to get ready to start cutting out the sections on the side and we're going to start looking at doing some wiring um, since this is see-through here we want to illuminate this so we're going to run I've got all those little 12 volt UV LEDs so we can run them specifically where, to where we want we're going to put the see-through door and eject button here and then the blue one is going to go on the clear face plate got that right here so that one's installed on here now we need to put the clear ones on this one all right so i forgot to show this before i took it all back apart again but i got the uh, clear door and button installed on this one and the other one is installed on this one so what i'm doing now is figuring out lighting um Obviously, I can easily just leave the blue ring of lights, blue LEDs on the fan, add some more blue LEDs and stuff like that. But um, I kind of want to try other colors, either white, a different shade of blue, whatever it may be, blue and white. I have all these UV lights here, so I'm testing this out now. I cut these off slid the LEDs out, the blue ones, and just slid these UV ones in. I'm just going to hot glue them in place and put this back together, plug it in, test it out, see what it looks like. I'm probably going to do all UV, and then I will take like these, mask the top of it off, same with this side panel, mask all this off real nice so no paint gets on the uh, factory uh, design there, and just paint the whole underside of all this stuff with the glow in the dark and then have all the UV lights um, same thing with this I need to take this back apart and 
take this bezel off and paint behind the bezel. Whether it's just going to be this gold or maybe just the glow in the dark behind there would be nice. Same with the DVD drive. Um, and start cutting out this side panel. So this is where I'm going to start to need a little bit of opinion from you guys on like LED colors, um, temperature display, if I should do red or blue. It's kind of my only options. I might have orange. Uh, I also thought about like drilling out that little red and putting an actual LED there or something like that. So we got to figure this out. See what kind of kind of stuff I want to actually do to this build. Main thing uh, is the other side of this. If I should just cut out, just like on the last one I did recently, cut out that one section above the DVD drive and the one section behind it, and have window window. Or if I should also cut out the one down here with the Star Wars logo and just take that off, and then also that little strip on the front and front of the fan. So. We'll finish this off by me putting this fan back together, and we'll see what this looks like with the UV LEDs, and make sure I did it right and don't start a fire. Alright, we got the UV LEDs put where the fan goes, and they still look blue, so I think that's going to look just fine. We're going to put all UV lights. Went ahead and cut out these sections. Still have a lot of sanding to do. That sticker's not on there, I just put it there. Around here, here, I went ahead and cut in between here. I was careful not to mess up the silver stripe around the outside. And that's just on there with tape. It'll obviously be plexiglass, and this will be in the center. So yeah, by the next video, I'm going to do a bunch of sanding and get some more UV lights wired up and ready to install. And then we'll put the temperature monitor and all that stuff in there. I also got the blue aluminum thumbsticks on here but that's it for now like comment subscribe see you in the next video